What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to pair the Bluetooth on your Casio G-Shock GST B100 Bluetooth. You'll know it's Bluetooth because there's a connect button that's indicated by this red ring right here. So first off, what you need to do is you need to go to the App Store and install G-Shock Connected. That's the app that you need. Just before I start, um, one of the common problems is if you see this error, the app cannot be launched because the animation is turned off. To use this app, you need to turn on animation, cancel the deletion of the user assistance animation, developer options, energy, energy saving mode, etc., and ensure that the animation can be run before use. So what you need to do is you need to go to developer options here and once you're in there you scroll down to the bottom and you tap um you need to turn on window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale and once they're on you should be fine and g-shock will stop showing that error now how do you get developer options what you need to do is you need to go to about phone software information and the build number, see, no need developer mode has already been enabled. So you tap this seven times and you'll be able to get in. So I'm going to boot up the G-Shock app. And you see, it's just a requirement for those animations. Okay, so we need to pair it. So you need to make sure that your location is on and your Bluetooth is on on the phone. Um, just right here like so. So location, Bluetooth on, and you need to find your watch model. Just a quick look at what's supported. So we have the Frogman GWF A1000. We have four Gravity Master models here, G Squad models, G Steel, which is my one, MTG, I think it's the Master something uh, series, the Mud Master, Range Man, and these two. GMWB5000, GWB56000. I think, yeah, these, do you see the, the, the icon on these? These are the retro looking ones. Okay, so I need to pair my one, so I need to go to B100. So what you need to do is you gotta hold this down for two seconds. You hear that double click, and it should be pairing now. So register the watch to the app, and it's doing its thing. Registration was successful, and you should be able to see it. So it's paired right now. Okay, so what I find annoying about this is that you cannot change the secondary time. See the secondary time is there indicated in the, um, sorry. See, these are both set at the same time, but the one on the left is the one that you can change. So I'm gonna set that to Tokyo. Can I not set that? Set this city to the watch. This app is really handy if you have it up to date all the time. But uh, if you don't, then I'll show you in another video how to manually set these. So we have Tokyo and I want to set this one to London, but I can't. So I'm going to switch these over. It's not, it's not pairing yet. Oh, I have to set it. Okay, so I'll have to set it. And do you see the hands moving on the watch? That means it's doing its thing. So it's gonna set to Dublin time on the red and then Tokyo time on the big hands. Where is my pencil? So you see here the red Dublin is indicated by that small circle, red circle there, which is that small uh, second timer right there. Then the white hands indicate Tokyo, which is the big hands there, and it should stop at 328. And then it's doing something here. 
where the days are. Oh yeah, it's got it right. No, oh yeah, Thursday in Tokyo. Okay, so I'm gonna change this one. I want it to be London. So I'm gonna set this one as London. World time was set, okay. So we have London and Tokyo, I wanna to swap those. So I want the white hands to be London and I want the red hands, or sorry, the red circle here to be Tokyo. So I just need to switch these up. And you can go over the same process and you could choose whatever time zone. And there are certain, you, you can hit a time zone within your uh, line. So if the city or town that you're in is not indicated in the map itself, you can just find one that's in the same time zone and just use that. It doesn't have to be exactly where you live. It just has to be in the same time zone as where you live. So even though Dublin is the same time zone as London, um, I want it to be London uh, because that's where I live. And you see the time is set there, 7.30 on the white hands and then 3.30 on the small hands. And uh, we'll just go over to the utility. You can turn on the alarm and the timer on here instead of having to set it on the watch. Back to world time and then the guide. The guide just shows you how to pair the device. And there we have it guys. That is how you set the times, the two time zones on your G-Shock, Casio G-Shock GST B100 Bluetooth version. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section down below. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Join us on Discord. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.